Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install Minikube on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, so let's start to install Minikube on Ubuntu. So first of all, here we need a prerequisite. So first of all, we need to install the Ubuntu or Ubuntu instance. Then we need a sudo user with admin privilege. We need 2 GB RAM or more and we need a 2 CPU or vCPU or more. Then we need a 20 GB free hard disk space or more. Then we need to install Docker and the stable internet connection. Okay, so as you can see here, I have successfully launched my instance and I have successfully connected to my instance. As you can see, welcome to Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, so now here, let's start to install Minikube on Ubuntu. So we need this prerequisite. So let's start. So first of all, apply updates. So install all updates of existing package of your system by executing the following APT commands. So first of all, let's update our system package using this sudo apt system, sorry, apt update command. So as you can see, it's done, right? Now the next step is here. We need to run this command if you want to upgrade. It's optional. If you want to upgrade, then you can run this command also. So I'm going to run this. So as you can see, it's updating. It takes few seconds. Okay. So as you can see, it's almost done. After run this command, we need to install Docker, okay? After that, we need to install Docker on our Ubuntu. So first of all, we need to run this Docker command, sudo apt install docker io. So it's almost done. Yeah. So I'm going to clear my screen first. And now let's, uh, let's install Docker first. So as you can see, it's installing Docker. So yes, I want to install Docker. Then we need a Docker to install Minikube. So that's why here we need to install Docker. After installing Docker, we need to give some permissions. So as you can see, a configure to run Docker without sudo permission. So we need to give some permissions to Docker. So that's why here I'm going to run these two commands to give some permission to my Docker. Okay. After that here, next step is let's install Minikube dependencies. So run the following to install Minikube dependencies. So first of all, I'm going to clear the screen. And now here, the next step is let's run the following command to install Minikube dependencies. So let's install the dependencies. Okay, it's done. Now, the next step is let's download and install Minikube binary. So use the following curl command to download latest Minikube binary. So I'm going to download the binary using curl command. If you want to install, then you can use wget command also. But here I'm going to use this curl command. So as you can see, it's installing, downloading the Minikube binary. As you can see, if I run the ls command, as you can see here, minikube linux amd64. So if you are successfully download the binary. After that, once the binary is downloaded, then install it under this path. That means under this location, user local bin. So let's install minikube under this location. Okay. Now, 
we have successfully installed minikube if you want to check the version then you can run the command minikube version as you can see the minikube version and the commit and so on okay so it's done we have successfully installed minikube now the next step is we need to install kubectl utility to start our minikube after installing minikube we need to start minikube okay to start minikube the need is means we need to install kubectl without kubectl minikube not start okay so firstly we need to install minikube sorry we need to install kubectl so i'm going to install kubectl so first of all here kubectl is a command line utility which is used to interact with kubernetes cluster and it is used to managing deployments services and pods etc so it's below call command to download the latest version of kubectl if you want to you want to install with Q, uh, wget command then you can install download with wget command also but here i'm going to use this curl command okay after that once kubectl is downloaded then set the executable permission on kubectl binary and move it to this path so let's set the permissions and after that let's move to this path okay now verify the kubectl version let's check the verify let's check the version of kubectl it's installed or not and the details of our kubectl as you can see the build date compile git commit and so on okay so we have successfully installed kubectl on ubuntu okay now it's done now after installing kubectl now we can start our minikube so as you can see the next step start minikube so as we already started in the beginning that we would using docker as base for minikube so start the minikube with the docker driver and run this commands so let's run this command to start our minikube so as you can see our minikube is started so it takes few seconds to start minikube so wait for few seconds As you can see, it starting. It's downloading Kubernetes version 1.30.0 preloaded. So it takes few seconds to start our mini cubes. Wait for few seconds. As you can see now it's creating docker container so we needed two cpus and memories like this okay to start our docker container so that's why in prerequisite i mentioned two c two cpu or more and two gb ram or more okay so that's why in my instance i choose t2 dot medium instance type because of this cpus and memory Now it's putting up control plane. Okay, it's done. So as you can see here, enable and storage provision default storage class and done cube CTLs is now configured to use mini cube cluster and default namespace by default. That means our mini cube is successfully started. Okay, so after that, if you want to check the status of your minikube, then you can run the command simply minikube status. As you can see, type control planes, host running, cube decubulate running, API server, cube config, and so on. Okay, it's done. Now run the following kubectl commands to verify the Kubernetes version, node status, and cluster info. So if you want to check, then you can run the command Kubernetes cluster info. 
as you can see kubernetes control plane is running on this particular this and then core dns is running on this okay so then after that if you want to check the git nodes as you can see there is only one node with the name minikube status is ready and role is control plane and age is 80 seconds ago and version okay so we are successfully installed minikube and we are successfully start our minikube now the next step is managing minikube add-ons so add-ons are the additional functionality to minikube cluster by default, only couple of add-ons are enabled during Minikube installation. To list the add-ons of Minikube, run the below command. So if you want to check the additional functionality of uh, uh, Minikube's means add-ons, so then if you want to check the add-ons, then you can run the simple command this Minikube add-ons list. As you can see the list of Minikube add-ons, you can see add-ons name, profile, status, and maintenance as you can see okay then after that next is verify minikube installations now it's last step right so let's ins uh, verify the minikube installation to verify minikube installation let's try to deploy nginx based deployment so for that run the below kubectl command to install nginx based deployment so let's install so kubectl create deployment my app image is equals to nginx okay as you can see deployment dot app my app created okay after that run the following kubectl command to verify deployment status okay let's check first of all kubectl get deployment my apps as you can see the 40 sec 14 seconds ago right and name is my app ready one of one up to date one available one okay after that let's check the ports and as you can see 27 seconds ago and its status is running and name is my app and ready one of one right it's run right so we have successfully verified minikube installation using this nginx okay now the next step is if you let's okay here if you want to check the kubectl get deployments app then you can so okay we have successfully checked this kubectl get ports okay now it's done so now the next step is managing minikube cluster so if you want to stop your minikube cluster then you can run the simple command minikube start if you want to uh, delete your minikube cluster then you can run the command minikube delete if you want to start then you can run the command start so let's run this command let's stop our minikube cluster so as you can see it's stopped stopping our minikube cluster so wait for a few seconds It's stopped now. How to check it's stopped or not? So let's check the status of our minikube. Minikube status as you can see host stop, kubelet stop, api server stop, and kube config stop. Now let's start our minikube using the following command as you can see, starting. Okay, now let's check the status. As you can see, it's running, running, running and configured. Okay. Now let's delete our minikube cluster. So the command is minikube delete. It's done. Let's check the status. As you can see, profile minikube not found. That means we have successfully deleted minikube cluster here. It's done. Okay. So in this session, we have learned how to install Minikube on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. And thank you for watching and I hope you understand.